After our complete examination under general anesthesia, we may find that one or more teeth will require extraction. Extractions are classified into two types, simple and surgical. Simple extractions are used on the smaller single-rooted teeth, such as incisors and first premolars. A simple extraction entails inserting an instrument such as an elevator or a luxator alongside the tooth gently applying pressure and lifting the tooth out of its socket. After cleaning out the socket, the gum tissue is sutured closed. A tooth with a larger single root, such as a canine, or a tooth with multiple roots requires a surgical extraction. And an incision is made in the gum tissue along each side of the tooth. The gum tissue is undermined and flapped back away from the tooth for exposure. We use a drill, just like the one your dentist uses, to remove some of the bone around the roots and also to separate the tooth into individual roots. These roots are removed one at a time, the sockets are cleaned out, and the gum tissue is sutured closed. Extraction sites will always heal much faster when they are sutured. The sutures are absorbable and will disappear on their own. The canine tooth is a special tooth and has a very large root. A single canine root makes up 40% of the mass of the front of the jaw, so when we extract a canine, we are making the jaw much weaker. In the x-ray, you can see the large empty space created by removing this tooth. In order to prevent weakening the jaw, we fill the empty socket with a synthetic bone graft. After a period of four to six months, this bone graft turns into real bone, maintaining the strength of the jaw.